David here with Fig Boot on Pens, back again with another fountain pen review. I have many pens in my personal collection that I have yet to review. Uh, sometimes the opportunity comes up to take a look at one of those pens, and today happens to be one of those days. Uh, what I will be showing you today is a pen from Stipula, which is an exclusive to Goulet pens. Uh, and that is the Stipula Carbon Florentia. Uh, this is a pen that I purchased a little bit over a year ago from Goulet at a slight discount, and I'm glad to have the chance to share it with you now, because this is a pen that I have enjoyed using. Um, I'll discuss price near the end of this review, but the impetus for wanting to do this review now was that I noticed via an Instagram post that Goulet had put these pens on sale. So it seemed like a good time to take a closer look at this pen. The pen arrives in the standard stipula box. The outer box slides off and then the top kind of flips open. And inside we have a standard use and care guide. There is a certificate of authenticity. This is a numbered edition. And then here is the pen. This is the Stipula Carbon Florentia. Uh, stipula is an Italian brand. Their factory is in Florence. Um, I will admit that Stipula is a brand which personally I had not thought highly of. Uh, the main reason being back in 2016 I purchased my first Stipula, the Speed. And while it's a serviceable pen as my pen education has developed, I came to have a better understanding that there were many other higher quality pens out there in the same price range. So past that model, I really hadn't give stip given Stipula much of an opportunity to change my mind. That is, until this model. Um, I actually have another Stipula in my review queue, which I'll be sharing down the line, and that model is nicer as well. So I'm glad that I gave them a bit of another shot. The pen has a matte carbon fiber body. Um, Stipula calls this their twill weave. Um, it's raw, but it's smooth. And what I mean by that is that it's not coated with resin. Um, it's like the raw material and it's very smooth to the touch. It's not like a basket weave where you can feel the bumps and in, in indications of the material. Um, I'm a big fan of carbon fiber in pens and I really like the look and feel of this material a great deal. Um, the trim on the pen is palladium plated bronze, and then the accents are made from a translucent resin. Now, the different portions of the pen are all made with the same blue resin, but depending on the thickness of the material and whether or not there's metal underneath, uh, it can appear to vary in color. So this middle portion here seems a little bit lighter than the other portions of the pen, but it's the very same material. Uh, let's take a look at the end of the cap. It's topped with one of the aforementioned pieces of blue resin and is very slightly rounded. The barrel is straight as well as being rather thick. And then we have the clip. As I mentioned before, it's palladium plated bronze accented with a leaf design. The Stipula logo is a leaf. Uh, the reason for this is a bit symbolic uh, and it alludes to the fact that leaves survive via capillary action, just like fountain pens. Uh, the leaf motif is then extended down to the cap band. Something I like about both the cl uh, clip and the cap band is that they are created with a lost wax casting method. Uh, this reproduces something which was originally carved by hand in wax. So the pattern on the band as well as the clip will have little inconsistencies. And I, I don't mean that in a negative way. I just mean that the pattern is not a carbon copy, picture perfect design duplicated around the clip and around the barrel. Uh, there are slight differences which give the clip and band more of a handcrafted look as opposed to something with, that's been like stamped or laser engraved. Um, there is a medium sized step down to the barrel, which is straight and then concludes with a band and then with a resin extension on the end. Uh, this piece is engraved with Made in Italy as well as the number of the pen. This is a limited edition of 300. And then the end of the barrel is slightly rounded, similar to the cap. The cap twists off with a single rotation. Uh, the threads on the barrel are metal and in the cap they're resin. And underneath we have a number six stainless steel nib stamped with Stipula, Firenze, which is Florence in Italian, and the continuation of the leaf motif. 
Um, this is a Bach nib and it is available in fine, medium, or a 1.1 stub. And here's a look at the plastic feed. The section begins with a pronounced flare, then angles up until it meets those metal threads, which I don't find to be sharp or uncomfortable if your grip should rest on them. And then there is a very small step up to the barrel. Uh, I like the size of this pen a lot. Uh, the section is a little thick, but very comfortable, and the barrel does have a bit of girth to it. Um, I also like the, the feeling of the raw carbon fiber against the inside of my hand. Uh, the Florentia is long enough to comfortably use unposted. The cap does post, and it does post securely, uh, but it doesn't post that deeply. Um, I find that the uh, weight is well distributed on this pen, so posting it doesn't back weight the pen or throw off the balance. But uh, personally, I prefer to use this pen unposted. I kind of like seeing this pop of blue on the end of the barrel. Sorry to interrupt, this is post-production David here with Figboot forgot to mention something in the review. Uh, this pen is a cartridge converter, accepting standard international cartridges, and a converter is provided. Now, back to me. Uh, in regard to price, on the Goulet pen site, the Carbon Florentia originally retailed for around $220, which I felt was a decent price. Uh, at that price, I felt it was a fair value, which is why I purchased the pen. But Goulet has recently reduced the price to $189, and I feel that that's a very good price for what you receive with this pen. There are a lot of things I like about this model. Um, I love the carbon fiber. Um, I think the blue accents are really sharp. And I really like the handmade look of the clip and the cap band. And as you'll see in the writing sample, it performs nicely as well. I like that it looks unique. It's unlike anything else I have in my collection. I'll put a link in the notes below where you can check out this pen on the Goulet site. Uh, it is something I would highly recommend checking out while they are still available. So now it is time for some measurements, size comparisons, and a writing sample. Here we go with some size comparisons for the Stipula Carbon Florencia. Uh, here it is with another pen, which was a Goulet exclusive, which was the Montegarpa Crisio Cola. Then here is a Diplomat Arrow. And then here is a Lamy All-Star. In regard to some other pens, here it is with a Lamy 2000. This is the stainless steel version. Here it is with a Sailor King of Pen Pro Gear. That's the Sky model. And then finally, a pen that you'll see a review of here shortly, which is a new uh, release from Esterbrook. This is the SD uh, Maraschino. And it's just a really, really nice red. So I'm looking forward to taking a closer look at this. But that's what it looks like in comparison to the Stipula. In regard to some uncapped comparisons, here it is with the Lamy 2000, the Sailor King of Pin Pro Gear, and the Diplomat Arrow. So here we go with the writing sample for the Stipula Carbon. Florentia. This is a medium stainless steel nib, and the ink that I'm using today was another Goulet exclusive. It is Colorverse Passion. Uh, this is what the ink looks like. It's a nice blue that matches well with this pen. Uh, in comparison, this is what it looks like with the Monteverde DC Super Show Blue, uh, as well as Noodler's Liberty's Elysium, which was another Goulet exclusive ink. Uh, this is what the bottle looks like. Uh, these Colorverse bottles are really great. They're really unique. Plus, uh, they're very nice inks. If you don't have any Colorverse ink, it's something that I would highly recommend. Okay, on to the rest of the writing sample. Um, 
I find this steel nib to be very pleasant, uh, that it's fairly smooth with just a touch of feedback. I don't find it to be too stiff or scratchy at all. You're not going to get a lot of line variation out of here. Uh, in regard to ink flow, I haven't had any problems with this pen. It's been generous. In regard to reverse writing, it's slightly sharp, but not too bad. In regard to some fast writing, There's no issue with it at all. So here we have the Stipula Carbon Florentia. Um, as I mentioned, this is a limited edition pen. Once they are gone, they are gone. Uh, and especially at the price that they're being offered at right now, I think it's an excellent, uh, it's an excellent uh, value for the price and something that I have enjoyed and uh, something that I think you might enjoy as well. So until next time, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.